Hi, and welcome back to iPads in the Classroom. My name is Pete Gerritsen, and in this trio of videos, we will be looking at the next steps, or how to begin to introduce the iPad to the classroom. When first introducing the iPad to the classroom, it is best to start small. The iPad is a tool that, when implemented appropriately, can effectively increase engagement and enhance the learning experience for students of all types. However, the power and capability of the iPad can quickly become cumbersome if you try to take on too much at once. There is a learning curve for both the teacher and the student that can be alleviated by introducing the technology in small but meaningful doses. In these three videos, I will introduce three apps that lend themselves well to this process. Easy to learn, easy to teach, and easy to use, but still impactful and engaging. Before introducing the apps, let's first look at the SAMR model. The SAMR model is designed to help teachers infuse technology into the learning process with the ultimate goal of producing higher levels of achievement. Each element requires a different level of planning and preparation and can be used to guide implementation strategies. Let's take a look at each element. The first element is substitution. This is where technology acts as a direct tool substitute with no functional change. Examples would be using the iPad as a calculator, to simply watch video or take notes, or to read text through an e-reader. Substitution is the simplest and requires the least planning. However, it is still important. It still teaches 21st century learning skills and it's still effective and engaging. Remember, the iPad is hands-on. The next element represents augmentation. Again, a substitute, but this time adds functional improvement. Examples of augmentation would be taking notes with Evernote but then adding the capability to organize, catalog, and sort using various tags. Another example would be watching video, but this time leaving comments on a message board or in a message box. A third example would be to not just read text in an e-reader, but use the dictionary feature to define and pronounce unknown words. The third element is modification. When technology is used for modification, it allows for significant task redesign. An example here would be, when using an e-reader, you can have students annotate, save, and then share their digital notes. The last element is redefinition. This is when the technology is used for the creation of new tasks that were previously inconceivable. An example of technology used as redefinition would be students creating their own iBook or PDF where other students could then read and respond digitally. Students could also participate in discussion via web or social media, create photo stories or iMovies, or create detailed blueprints in a math class. In the next two videos, we will preview apps that initially fit well in the substitute and augmentation elements and allow for safe and effective implementation of the iPad.